All right, everyone. I am back from break. And it is now time for us to find out what is this gym challenge for the ice gym. Welcome to the Glacado Gym. Let me register you as a member. Your name is DSPES. No. Absolutely not. Oh, really? We just hit 100 likes. It is time for a bubble blow, everyone, before we re uh, actually jump into the gym. Thank you guys for all the support today on Pokemon. Oh, that was a good one, too. That was a nice bubble blow. Thank you all. All right. <clears throat> all right, great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Grusha, you need to pass the gym test. Here at the gym, it means doing a snow slope run. By the way, I just got bubbles all over my glasses, so hold on a second here. Bubble juice. I got slippery, slimy bubble juice on the glasses. <clears throat> yes, Jade, you had said the first time you ever saw Ninja Turtles was 2003. The only time I've ever seen Ninja Turtles was the original 80s, 90s cartoon show and the movies, the live-action movies of the 90s. And that's, that's it. I haven't seen Ninja Turtles since. Ah, it's much better. Okay, a snow slope run. What the heck is that? Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. What is this now? Head out to the gym and up the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on the details there. So it sounds like a mini game, right? All right, get out there and have fun. Definitely sounds like a mini game. We're good. We're. I mean, everyone got revived, so we're good there. Thank goodness. Um, who do we want to have the first? I will get him first. He's the lowest level. Okay. No slope run. By the way, someone tweeted me and basically tagged where I guess this special fire type Pokemon is this fire warrior that Rashawn has wanted us to catch a name. So I guess we can eventually do that when we when we we're going here. Uh, I don't know if we'll do it right now, but you know, let's do this ice gym first and maybe do that. Uh, where do we go? We say up to the left, up here, right? Up into the left. Man, it's cold up here. Derek, you are welcome. Counter DCW says, did you find a second Corellia? We have it. And, you know, we actually went to a lot of different areas. We never found the second Corellia yet, Captain. We will. I, I promise you we will. Um, It just hasn't come across us in our travels. Maybe what we could do, well, why don't we finish, the, why don't we do the gym? And then why don't we look for the fire type? And then why don't we find the Corellia? Why don't we do that all in that order? And then continue on in this region. As you can see, we actually have to head further north to get to the second gym up here. So this is what we should do. Corellia is probably way back down here where we had found them previously. Man, I can't remember where they are. I have to look that up. All right. Okay. You ready? I've been waiting for you. This is where the slow, slow slope run starts. You have to ride a Pokemon down this slippery course. You have to finish time in the target time. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see how this works. All right, let's get the test started. Here we go. How does this work? They're not gonna explain it, huh? They're they're just not gonna explain it. Oh, okay. How do I go faster? Do you have to hit every every flag? I guess you have to hit every flag or you're disqualified. Seems like it, right? Or else what's the point of the flags? Okay, that was slow as shit. <laughs> we passed. Amazing. I like how there were items there that disappeared as you approached them because they don't want you to stop to get the item now. Amazing gameplay right there. I mean, that blew me away. Anyway, I just received a $6.72 tip from none other than 672. He says, please drop Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's a kid's game. We are not playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. We're only going to be doing it as a special during the Christmas event. That's it. So no worries. But thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, 672. I appreciate uh, the tip. 
And uh, let's get a nice animation for you. Thank you for the support here. Where is it? Here it is. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's keep it nice and warm with that animation. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Looks like see, I like seeing Russia in his prime again. You obviously passed the gym test with flying colors and get to go to the receptionist now. Oh, amazing. Any interest in watching Avatar 2? I have none. I did not like the first movie. I thought it was just okay. As I told you guys, I think the, at the time it was groundbreaking animation. I think that's what people liked about it. I didn't really like the movie itself besides maybe the action scenes. But the plot was terrible. It was the same plot that you saw in Pocahontas. So I never really understood why people liked it so much. So I do not have interest in seeing Avatar 2. So Ice is weak to Fire Rock, Fighting, and Steel. Well. No Fire Rock, Fighting, or Steel with him. <clears throat> No fire, rock, fighting, or steel with him. Here we have rock. And steel, of course steel is defense, but we have rock. No fire, rock, fighting, or steel, but we have last respects to Hail Mary. If everyone else is dead, you use that. It's like an instant kill. No fire, rock, fighting, or steel with him. No fire, rock, fighting, or steel. So we really have one Pokemon who's ready for this. One Pokemon. <clears throat> okay. That's not good. Greetings, Cheerio Eater. I think we should pro possibly prepare. What do you guys think? Um, let's take a look at our boxes. Let's see what Pokemon we have. Fire, Rock, Fighting, or Steel. So. I think, if I remember correctly, Knackle sa Stack should be Rock. Am I correct there? Knackle stack is rock. But it's only level 35. Pyroar would definitely be fire. And that's level 36. Maybe we should bring in Pyroar. Get rid of the Sinistee. And then... Torkoal would definitely be fire. And rock. No. I think Torkoal is both. see here. Oh, e Honda is fighting, right? So, oh yeah, get him instead of low kicks. Okay. So we have fighting, fire, uh, stone, fire, and, and I think rock. And this would be my Hail Mary at the end if all the rest are dead. But we need one more fighting, rock, fire, or steel. Uh, Muzdale is ground, right? Not rock. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Derek says maybe bring ice. Because ice doesn't affect ice. But if it has another attack, maybe it'll work. Oh, wait a minute. Here you go. Medicham is fighting and psychic, correct? That could be a good choice. A level 40 Medicham? I think I might, that might be what I do. I might bring in my level 40 Medicham. Here we go. Let's take a look at them all now. <clears throat> so. Yeah, so Force Palm would be great. Okay. Fire Fang could be good, but we might want to look at some other moves to assign. Let's see what other moves we can remember. <clears throat> Let's see here. Headbutt is only 70. Oh, wait, these are the ones you can learn. What does he know right now? Echoed voice sucks. That's terrible. Takedown is bad, and Endeavor is bad. And Echo, they're all bad. Seriously, all three of those are bad. <laughs> Shell Ruka says your starter is part fighting. He'd be good. You think so? But what about ice to water? That doesn't affect it, does it? Maybe not. Here, let's, uh, let's remember new moves. Ember, only 40. Wow, he doesn't really know that much, huh? Hyper Beam. Ugh. So really, he has one good fire move. That's it, right? 
Do I have a fire spin TM? I probably do. Oh, yeah, people were saying I should add Baxter. You guys think so? <clears throat> people want Baxter back for this fight. We haven't had Baxter in several streams, right? There he is. Here, put him instead of Pyroar, since Pyroar seems to suck. There we go. We'll get Baxter back into the mix. All right. All right, so now let's go back. We already know Godzilla's fine, right? Houndstone is my Hail Mary. What does Torkoal have? <clears throat> Ooh, Flame Wheel, Lava Plume. Oh, this is good. Multiple fire moves. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely keep Torkoal. And then what about... Oh, High Jump Kick. That's good. High Jump Kick is good, right? I think we're good. I think this is a good, a good uh, party for the fight. Do I want to level anyone up? I've never used any experienced candies. I think Torkoal needs some levels, huh? Some XP candies. Here we go. Went up. Wow, it didn't even get it. It didn't even... That's terrible. It didn't even give it a level. It's really bad. It went up to 31. I was going to give it everything. Thirty-eight. Body slam. Uh. Yeah, clear smog. Oh no, that's good. It's it clears all stat changes on an enemy. Oh my god, that's a really good move. Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel's weak. Yeah. I'll get rid of Flame Wheel. Okay. Now I want to learn Iron Defense. I'll probably do that over Protect. Yeah. Okay. El Grey Zoro says... La the, the last respect move gets 50 more power for every fainted Pokemon. It caps at 100 or 50-50 power. You manage to get that many fainted Pokemon in your party. <laughs> awesome. All right. So. We are kind of low level here for the fight, no? Should we do a few grinding fights just to see if we can level up a few times? Perhaps we should. Who has the fire? Torkoal has the fire, right? Let's let's just do a couple grinding fights before we do the gym fight. Just go outside and fight a few Pokemon, see how it goes. Mark Thomas, I kind of understand the, the, the special attack systems and everything. It's been a long... Well, it's been a while since I really focused on it and tried to learn. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get a few levels in on with these guys. Grinding fights. Snow warning. It failed. Do I like snowy weather? As long as I don't have to drive in it, sure. I love snowy weather. Seriously. Lava plume on it. Damn, that's awesome. Wait a minute. Hold on a second here. I have an item I can give that gives double experience, don't I? Experience egg, lucky egg. Here it is.
So now he'll get double experience points. Yes. Should you try to use Snow Skate? How about a game of Lucky Hits, says El, El Grey Zoro? He avoided the attack. Oh, come on. You're not allowed to avoid attack. There we go. Don't sell the terror shards at Captain DCW. Oh, I wouldn't. I don't even know what they do, but I definitely wouldn't sell them if I don't know what they are. Uh oh. Oh, no. What just happened? I have to use lava plumes. The only thing that hurts him. That's gonna hurt. It's weird because he isn't he. I guess he's just pure ghost. Because isn't it weird that he's pure ghost but he has the fire on his head? A little weird. <laughs> Healing. It's annoying. I received a $2 tip. From Turtleneck Dan. He says, Santa Claus is mad. He sat in the corner and said nothing last night during our weekly poker. And I asked him if he was okay. He said he was fine. But he stomped out of the room. Santa Claus is mad. Thanks. Thanks for that $2 tip. I don't know what's up with Santa. Why was he doing po Should he really be playing poker this close to Christmas? Shouldn't he be like... In the final crunch time to getting toys to girls and boys. My keyboard is malfunctioning. Bear with me here. Okay. Yeah, like seriously. What's he doing playing poker? We got no time to waste. We should have no time to waste. Any tougher ones here? These guys are not very high level. They're only like 36. What's this? Oh, it's another one of the ghost dogs. I guess I'm supposed to fight the Bronzongs regardless anyway for their items, right? So maybe I should fight them. The sunlight turned harsh. So why is fire attack Bronzong? Bronzong is what? What type that fire hurts him so bad? Steel? I guess steel is weak to fire? I don't know. Do your thing. Nice! Do your thing! Nice! Auto battle! Yes! Do it! Do it, Torkoal! Get him, Torkoal! Get him! Right there! Right in front of you! Torkoal, do it! Slap him around! Teach him who's boss! Come on! <laughs> Show him in their home turf who's the, the, the rock daddy! The Torkoal daddy! Yes! You little innocent little bear. How about this? I slap your face. What I'm seeing is that... Oh, a repeat ball. That's good. What I'm seeing is, sadly, it does a lot less experience per fight, right? Like, way less. It's only like 150 per fight. Normally, these are, you know, way more than that. He took some damage on that one. Slap them around! Yes! Torkoal, take out this Bronzor immediately. Nice. Oh, he can't reach the snowflake? He can't reach it. Get this guy instead. Oh! Huh. 
He can't fight him because he floats? That's kind of silly. Can't reach him because he floats. Yeah, we can reach this guy. I can't... Ah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that a shiny? Dude, that's a shiny. Or not. Nah, it's a different color. It's a different color than the other one. Why is it a different color if it's not a shiny? The other one wasn't pink, right? But it's not a shiny. I don't get it. Uh, we'll just kill it quick then. I guess it's not a shiny. I've never seen it a pink one, but whatever. Maybe it's the gender. Maybe the shit genders are different colors. El Grey Zoro said I had exactly the same situation. It looks different from a distance. That sucks. I see the auto battle is very useful for items, but outside of that, uh, it doesn't do much experience. And the, I'm trying to grind, it's not really working. You also can't attack the floating Pokemon, can you? I guess I got that one. You learned a new move, it says. I said he learned a new move? <clears throat> How do we figure that out? Change moves? Flamethrower? Oh yeah, he learned flamethrower. I would say... Oh man. Man, these are all good. This is a tough decision, actually. Having two flame moves is pretty useful. I don't know. What do you guys think? Get rid of clear smog. But clear smog seems like it would be pretty darn good. Because it gets rid of all status changes to an enemy. Right? That could be really useful in a boss fight. Someone who's auto buffing. Yeah. Iron defense could be good though. Because it makes you sharply raise your defense. I'm going to get rid of Lava Plume. We already have, you know, it'll be a double fire move. It doesn't make sense. So the so total shiny is pure gray. Okay. So that was definitely not a shiny. Time to kill like 17 of these. Look. Trying to slap the Sneasels around. Oh, come on. I was auto-battling. Yeah, good clear spawn could work on Skeledurge if Skeledurge doesn't insta kill me, which it probably would regardless, so it wouldn't matter. No flurry swipes for you, but I know a flamethrower that's coming your way. Ooh yeah! See, that's just so much more experience. It's 700, as opposed to only 100 for the auto battle, so. Probably just grind a little bit on this uh, ridge and then we'll go for the gym fight. Yes. Derek, no, we, we lost to Nimona twice. It's that, that last Skeledurge Pokemon is like unbeatable. That Skeledurge, the way they built that Skeledurge is so unfair. It's absolutely ridiculous. Have at it, Torkoal. Bullying them all, look. Torkoal the bully. Okay. Bronzong, best to be battled manually. He has a lot of XP. Here we go. 
Oh, come on! Oh my god! They won't let him fight! They seriously won't let him fight. How is this fair? Captain DCW says, good thing I picked the grass starter and I've destroyed her. Yeah, because likely what happens is she always has the starter that's the opposite of yours, so that way you can get easy wins, but I don't have my I didn't have my starter the fast fast two fights. I think it's kind of boring to have the starter in your party the entire game once they've evolved the whole way. Oh my god. Seriously? This is so stupid. Come on. Lord Prince Albert thinks you super chat, but we don't need to know about you touching your skin pipe. That's your own personal information. We don't need to know anything about that act. But we prefer if you could keep that information to yourself. But thank you for the super chat. Whoa. Torkoal's pretty cool. I think Torkoal will be pretty good in this upcoming gym fight. That's why I'm trying to turbo level him here. Damn, that was a lot of experience. That was a ton of experience. There's another one. Get him! What are you doing? Attack this Pokemon! Okay. Yeah, over a thousand experience for the fight. He's already safeguarding. Oh, come Dude, they're so annoying! The most annoying fight! MGCW says he had a Sarah Ledge and it destroyed the Ice Gym. What is a Sarah Ledge? I don't know what that is. There will be more High on Life um, Friday night. Street Fighter 6 on the daytime stream and High on Life on the late stream Friday. Can I play with Chun Li tomorrow? I think tomorrow I'm going to start with Ryu just to get readjusted to the game and try to learn the basics again. And then over the weekend, I will probably use Chun Li, Ken, and Guile. That's what I'm thinking I'll be using over the weekend. Let's see. I think one more level and we're good to go. Screw it. Screw waiting and grinding. I just want to do the gym. So if I can get Torque Holder to get one more level, we'll get started. A lot of items fighting these guys, huh? <clears throat> Ryu seems good. I know Ryu seems pretty good. I agree there. I thought Ryu was probably the best, my favorite character of the whole beta that I played last time, which you wouldn't expect because he, he was supposed to be the starter basic character of Street Fighter, but I actually really liked him. I think I did the best overall with him. All right, Torkoal just leveled up. All right, we'll fight this Bronzong, and then we'll go back. We'll do the gym fight. I think we leveled him up. Yeah, the, the auto fight system is interesting, but, man, do they downgrade that amount of experience. See, I'm only getting 100 to 200, but the, the normal fights will be like 800 to 1,000. So you're getting way less.
Is Torkoal my favorite turtle Pokemon? I don't think I have a favorite. What about the Snapping Turtle? What's his name? Derek, I'll see you back tonight. Sounds good. He says he will be here for Street Fighter VI and a variety of the nice shoes he's got in God of War. Sounds good. It should be fun. The Street Fighter VI weekend should be fun. And I'm really happy that this time around, I'm not just doing Street Fighter VI. will probably show up over the weekend. I'm happy about that. Uh, extra to do the super chases. Are you a fan of holiday sugary Pillsbury cookies? I don't know if I've ever had Pillsbury brand. My mom used to make holiday sugar cookies when I was a kid. Um, of her own recipe. And then we used to go to an Italian bakery and get Italian cookies. So I don't think I've ever had the Pillsbury brand, so I don't think I can actually answer the question. Dude, there's so many Pokemon. Take some out. Take some out. Take it out! You walked right by it! It's right in front of you! Oh! <laughs> right in front of you! What are you doing? No, not biscotti. Biscotti is an Italian cookie, but they're actually Italian style cookies are very unique. They make them. They have all kinds of fruit fillings. Uh, they actually have um, unique uh, frosting. And the dough actually tastes different than standard cookie dough as well. We used to go to an Italian bakery called Luigi's. They used to be in, in uh, nearby where we used to live. I think it was in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And get this nice, delicious uh, Italian-style cookie. But uh, they went out of business. <laughs> they went out of business. Sucks. Okay. Should I get Torkoal one more level since we're at it? Since we're right there? Let's get him one more level and then we'll actually uh, we'll do the gym. Have I tasted homemade maple syrup? Homemade, no. Have I tasted real maple syrup? Yes, we used to go to the Big E, which was a regional big big fair that they used to hold in the Northeast United States. And they actually would have each state bring their own regional products to sell. And Maine used to bring, or excuse me, not Maine, Vermont. Actually, it was Maine too. Vermont and Maine used to bring maple candies, maple syrup. And you taste it, and you're like, oh my god, that is so different than what you think the flavor of maple is. Because you're so used to that fake, watered-down, homogenized maple. And then when you actually taste the real thing, it is so strong of a flavor. It's ridiculously good. It's like gourmet. It's so good. Did I ever eat a cannoli? Yes, I have had a cannoli. And it is weird. That in inside is like a custard. You think it's gonna be like sugary, and it's not at all, right? It's like a it's like a, a dough, rather than like it being like like a cake or a pastry. It's more like a, a, a dough of bread, and then and then inside there's this like like custard cream that tastes so different than what you're expecting. It's definitely not a sweet treat like a lot of people think it is. Okay, show you get to the super chat. He says, are there any third strike characters you wish to return to Street Fighter Six? Oh man. See, the thing is, they all were in Street Fighter 4 or 5, right? Like, who was it? When you think about it, who was Q? I guess didn't return? Well, pretty much almost every character did. Which is so weird that they did that. It was like they had no originality. They had to bring back every character that wasn't in it, right? So, I don't know. I think maybe they should just stay away. Um, right? Just stay away from the, the characters and add new ones. Add new characters we never played before. Stop adding in characters from every other Street Fighter game, you know? All right, I think we're ready to go. Nate Drakes is from Maine. Well, good for you. Maine apparently has a lot of good products. Lobster, right, and other things. Let's save, and let's do our gym fight. This will be the finale of the stream. Hopefully we can win this. <clears throat> All right, let's see how this goes. Great show on the slopes. You finished the snow slope run, and you cleared the gym test. Way to go. You've earned a right to challenge the gym leader, so best of luck. The Sub-Zero Shredder, gym leader Grusha. Let's do it. I'll see you later, Captain DCW. 
Did I ever have a tri-layer cake cut in squares, red, green, and yellow? Are you talking about petite fours? The little ones? Do they cover in, like, chocolate or white chocolate? You can have candy on it and eat it? I've had those. What the? That's the gym leader? Wah! There you are! Brr, I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger? My name's Grusha. I'm a snowboarder. I used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills, they were pretty cool. But don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Winter Mountains... Oh, I already read that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always among the, the most dangerous when you're starting up to get the hang of things. Today's not a great day to face me. You know, you're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? Yes. Did... Wait a minute. Didn't the guy at the counter say Grusha was a he? This definitely looks like a female, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. You can't, you can't tell anymore. So, still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. This is my job now. Don't take what I'm about to do personally. This is a guy. Yeah, it's a guy, right? But he's wearing, like, mascara. They're ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Oh, boy. <laughs> Gym leader Grusha. Rosmall. <clears throat> Here we go. Don't say I didn't warn you. Not my fault if you get overwhelmed. Talk about your cold shoulder. Perhaps you should chill out. And maybe during this fight, the best thing to do strategically would be to stay cool. Blizzard has no... I avoided the attack. Take this! Flame throw! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Insta-kill! Very nice. Bye-bye, Frozmaw. Very nice. Torkoal is very happy about that. All right. Beatrix? Beatrix? Keep him in. Ice to meet you. That's right, says Jay. Ice to meet you. <laughs> Super effective against Bear Tick. Let's do it. Uh -oh. oh no. Oh shit! That hurt. But now I use flamethrower. Oh yes, it's the kill. Okay. Woo! Damn. You, of course, you have to hit me with earthquake first turn and do monstrous damage, right? <clears throat> Torkoal with the level up. And he learns a new move. <clears throat> curse? Man, I don't know what curse is. Let's take a look at it. It's a ghost move. It's different, it's different effects depending on whether it, it's a ghost type or not. Oh, it, I don't. it's not a ghost type, so I don't know what this does. Let's not learn it for now, but maybe we'll learn it later. Set, set Titan? I guess we'll switch since I lost 50% of my health. Set Titan. Um... Look at E-Honda in there. Let's see if Honda can do anything. Some sumo pushes. Set Titan. I don't know what Set Titan is. It's huge. It's a giant fucking whale. Yikes. Let's bulk up. Oh, no. Don't do Ice Spinner. Not now. Oh! Bulk up. So that curse would have raised attack and defense, but lower speed if you're not a ghost type. All right. Now let's do force bomb. No, don't do that again. That hurt last time. Ooh. Come on. Slappy, slappy. Super effective. I'm going to die. I am going to die. If you just beat that again, I'm going to die. I don't care. Okay, that was a bad choice. Son of a bitch. Metacham, get in there. High jump, kick this thing in the face. No, don't get ice spun in the face. Ah, it's like a toilet. It's like a toilet flushing. High jump, kick. Hoi. Yes. 
All right, down to the final one. Final fight. Ooh, Baxter has leveled up. Very nice. I think we should get Baxter in here. Let Baxter have the final honors here. Here we go. Start a Pokemon. Taking the stage. The Dance Master Baxter. You're not just talk, I see. You're still one false step from a steep fall. Altaria. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll show you something that's interesting. You ready for this? Well, low sweep is going to lower its speed stat. So I'll probably get two turns in a row. All right. Here we go, Baxter. Baxter boy. Come on, dancing Baxter boy. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on, Baxter. Battles are like mountains in winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Now he's doing it to his. Altaria. Here he goes. Terrace the life the Altaria. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. Low sweep. Lower that speed. Yes. Super effective. Hurricane. Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. No. No. Confusion. The land of confusion. Aqua step. Don't be confused. Hit it with aqua step. Aqua step right now. Aqua step. Oh, yes, baby. Give it the water. Oh. No, it survived. It survived. My speed rose, but it survived. It out does hurricane. Ah! Godzilla, it's up to you. Go, go, Godzilla. Oh, this is it. Stone Edge. You're always just one step away from devastation. The cold will leave you shaking. Ice Beam. Don't do that. Oh, you Iceman from X-Men. Don't do that to my Godzilla. Ah! Stone Edge now. Oh, yes. We got it. Woo! That was a close one. That was a close one. Yes! Yes! You melted straight through my ice! Whew! Whew! That burning passion you have. You strive for the future no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Huh! You want a photo together to commemorate your win? Come on, that's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing. All right. Oh, yeah? Linuli says nine more levels and Godzilla becomes true Godzilla. Yes. All right, so I don't usually do that sort of thing, but okay, fine. This is a special occasion. Here we are. Amazing. He's holding his... Look, they're holding the, the knit Pokeball. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I have one, too. Here we go. Here, I, I'll join in the pick. Come on. Here we go. I'm in the pick, too. My knit Pokeball. Look, I have Pokeball. Wait a minute. I have, two, I have two knit Pokeballs. Here we go. Look at this. I have a set of Poketesticles here. For <laughs> there you go. Now we're talking. See, we all have knit Pokemon products around here because we're really cool. With seven gym badges, you can easily be able to catch Pokemon up to level 55 more easily. They'll actually listen to you, too, which is nice. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this, too. Ice Spinner. Oh, that's what the whale had. The Ice Spin. Nice. The, co the user covers its feet in thin ice and twirls about, slamming into the target, and the move spinning motion will destroy the terrain. 
Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again if you don't mind the cold, that is. What are you so happy about? I kicked your ass. Woo! All right. We did it. That was a hard one, but we got it done. Oh, look. Hey, hey, Rika here at your service. These gyms really aren't giving you much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika! Huh? Oh, right. You two haven't met, have you? This young man is DSP. He's so good with Pokemon, even La Primera is taking an interest in him. Oh, wow, oh, wow. But to think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, uh, I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. Haha, <laughs> aren't you just adorable, you little shit. Anyway, I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, mister. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, uh, pinnacle, it's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you, a little brat. Anyway. Uh, wait up, Poppy. Don't leave your pal Rika behind. <laughs> All right. Ice to see you too, Jade. Jade, what killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. <laughs> Talk about your cold shoulder. Oh, no. I walked into an invisible building that wasn't even rendered. <laughs> I scream, you scream, we all scream for Pokemon Ghost Pokemon Horror Stories. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. I got too excited. Bear with me here. <laughs> the wrong button. Let's rest up our Pokemon. Alright. Rest them up. And I think we have to go. Well, what I told you guys we would do, here's what we'll do. All right, next time when we play Pokemon, which will be in a few days, it's going to be over the weekend, a night stream, actually. And that's only because I'm playing Street Fighter VI during a day stream. Please understand that Pokemon will be day streams uh, in the future, but we have to do a night stream of it over the weekend to keep it in the rotation, okay? Next time around, here's what we'll do. We will go on a search. We'll try to find this Fire Warrior Pokemon, and we will try to get another Corellia, because we owe a Corellia to Captain DCW, and we owe a Fire Pokemon to Rashan. So once we get those, okay, then we can name them appropriately, and then all the obligations for the playthrough are done, and then we can move on. If you take a look, like, what's next? Well, for where we are now, it looks like we should probably head northwest and try to get to this other gym, which is the ghost-type gym on the other side of the mountain, right? And then from there, there's really only a couple things left. You've got your your team uh, star fighting... Uh, uh, base over here. You've got a Titan Pokemon over here that's around level 50. Okay. And then, top of the screen, I guess this is supposed to be the hardest thing in the game until you get to the very end. So that's the last thing you actually want to do for the story. So, probably we'll go on this hunt ne next, and then we'll come back up here, and we'll try to get to the next gym, and then go from there. Okay? Fork chop sandwiches, I have no idea why you were timed out. I didn't do it. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so let's save. I didn't save, right? Let's save up. And that's the idea for next time around. I hope that you guys enjoyed this session. Great progress this session, right? And basically, you know, a good a good, varied team of Pokemon we have now. I think my favorite new Pokemon is Houndstone. I actually really like Houndstone as a ghost type. So, pretty unique. And uh, next time, we go for a search. A search for... These two Pokemon that we have to name and then go from there. I would also like to say thank you not only to everyone who is here live, who attended, engaged, interacted, and supported. Yes, we're back to having Pokemon streams well supported. I really appreciate that. Like I said, I think last time might have been just a fluke because tonight went really well. All right, guys. So thank you until next time. And by the way, reminder to all you watching on demand on YouTube continuously. With all these new Pokemon we caught today, yes, you can name one. You don't have to be on the live streams. If you tip $25, uh, even when the stream's offline, just give me your name, the name of the Pokemon, and the name you want to give the Pokemon. And uh, and then we can uh, do that for you, all right? First come, first serve. All right, guys, thank you so much. Until next time in a few days. Thanks.